Hello. Before we begin, thank you for subscribing. Much love to all of you. For today's special, let's learn on how to do custom user role. User role is essential if you want to filter the views between types of users. For an example, I want to hide certain views from normal users, in this case, the admin panel and reports. So the first step is to go to your spreadsheet. Let's add a new table called user manager. Adding the relevant columns such as name, email and role. This will be important for our step later in this tutorial. Once done, let's go back to the app editor and add in user manager table that we just created earlier. Next, let's add a view for user manager. Go to app or UX and add a view. I'm just going to name it to user manager. For this data, select the user manager table. Once done, save the app. Let's modify the roles in role column in user manager. Go to data view columns and I'm going to add a few roles in the role column using drop down in this case enum data type for this tutorial I'll just add the following roles admin employee and customer you can of course add any roles that you like All set, now for the final touch. We are going to add an expression that will act as the user role filter. So in user manager tab, I'm going to add a user, in this case myself. and assign the employee role for myself. As you can see, all the roles are here. And of course, I'll be using employee in this case. And save. So now I'm holding the employee role as shown in screen. Let's hide these views from employee role. Go to app UX. Look for the view that you want to apply the user role filter. In that view, go to display. In show if, use the following expression. I have included this in the description down below. For my case would be as follows. The name of my table So let's run through one by one. 
the email will be referred to the user email depending who is logged in into the app role will be admin you can simply add it in your list you can add more than one role separated with commas that's done let's try it out Now, as you can see on screen, the admin panel view is now hidden since it's meant for admin and I'm an employee. Let's copy the expression and use it for another view. In this case, let's add it to reports. Go on to display. And once we save, the reports will be hidden from employees. Then that's done. Now if I change my role to admin, I will see the hidden views once again since it's meant for admins. Well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, you can start filtering views today, try it out. If you like this video, do give the thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye bye.